um, the first thing that I'm sensing here is this is a card overall about uh, somebody who is in a position of power and authority, okay? And uh, looking at this card, I usually think of it as, um, I'm not reading this so much as another energy, but more like your energy, where you have long-term goals, you're looking towards the future, and you're trying to build something of extreme value. And because this shows up as a queen, this is somebody with a lot of power of attraction, magnetic, you know, um, like... I, I want to say magnetic sex appeal. And so I feel that in a way, cultivating the more feminine as aspects, which is, you know, the, the nurturing qualities, the qualities where we can at the same time be a good listener, but still very hold very strongly and, and firmly to our beliefs, to our values and not swaying too much and compromising too much. Okay. So this is an energy of somebody who knows what they're doing. They're, they're sure, they're certain, they're confident. And because of that, they have a lot of magnetism that will automatically draw other people to you. And so because of this energy, it's somebody who's dabbling in many things. It's somebody who has kind of like at the apex of his or her creative peak, okay? So you might have a lot of projects that you're working on on the creative front. And uh, you might have, you know, met up with a lot of people, or get all these things lined up for you. And I feel like since uh, the February time frame, you might start to realize that some people, they make promises, you know, they're, they're promising, here's a, a, a contract, here's a, a, an internship, here's a work schedule, or here's like, um, um, an opportunity or speaking engagement. So whatever capacity that you're in, there have been a lot of things that you're trying to get lined up to prepare for, you know, your professional life. And you might realize that other people are not, they're, they're falling short on their ability to deliver. They're falling short on fulfilling their end of the, of the obligation or their end of the contract. Or they might have drawn contracts in a way where there might have been loopholes. There might have been, you know, uh, those fine lines, fine prints that kept you locked into a, specific contract that was not good for you. And so this is the month in which we look over all of those nuances, look over all of those contracts and see which ones are kind of exploitative, which ones are not working to our favor and who with whom we are linked up with uh, and whether or not they are fulfilling their end of the bargain. Okay. So I, I feel like a lot of these, um, I, I want to say like professional contacts, and professional uh, networking opportunities, as well as existing projects that you're working on, they need to be heavily re-examined. And if they're not working, if they're in a way that is holding you back or really exploiting your time and your resources and your contributions, I feel that you're going to need to find a way to, to get out of it, okay? And that might mean consulting somebody who has legal expertise, they might advise you that, oh, it's a binding contract and you can't really, you know, get out of it. But I do feel overall that you're going to need to consult some type of a specialist in order to sort things out on the work front. What I'm also feeling as well is um, for some of you, there is a specific line of work that you're doing. So whatever capacity in which you're working, I feel like some of you are feeling a little bit trapped and a, a little bit like um, constrained by the time associated with, you know, the, the time that you need in order to get the things done. So I feel like there are time crunches, time constraints happening across the board for many of you for this month. And on top of that, on, on top of, you know, the professional life and the responsibilities, there's also the personal aspect. A lot of you might be in a position where you're relocating, you're moving from one place to the, the next. And um, I feel that this is a, a card majorly about, you know, picking up all the pieces and then moving forward, okay, moving to a different geographical location, for example, moving to a different house, different place of residence, or just... Um, uh, bringing everything with you to have a consultant look at them. So I like a consultant or a legal counselor or a legal counsel look at them. So I feel like there's a lot happening in your personal life as well, where there it denotes to me like a major change, a major shift. And um, what I feel is your state of mind, you start out this month in a very, very optimistic light. 
and there will be, you know, a little bit of snags along the way, waiting on decisions for other people, not knowing when we have the green light to move ahead and moving ahead in a manner where you might encounter opposition. You might not encounter, you know, the right support or people who have been ones were supportive are now withdrawing their support. So I feel that you have a lot of things to push forward. Um, in the later part of the month and that you might not anticipate okay so because coming out early in the month we have here this is uh, your card this is your representation as the king of swords and the king of swords is somebody who is an expert analyzer this is somebody who kind of like um when i think of this i usually think about you know like the energy of a lawyer Someone who is really well versed in rules, regulations, procedures. They automatically, they have this, um, this very objective way of looking at problems. They're great at problem solving. They're great at, um, analyzing things from different sides of the story. And they are also well versed into taking every little piece or every little perspective into account. When it shows up in the reverse position, one of the things they want you to be um, a little bit careful about is um, kind of like, I, I want to say confirmation bias, okay? It's sort, of, it's sort of like ideologically, you believe in one thing. You believe in like a, a specific cause, specific course of action, and you're like, that is the best course of action. And I feel that there might have been people around you that might have told you this. This is the best course of action. Or emotionally, you are very um, tied in strongly to your ideologies. So you believe this is the best course of action. And so you single-handedly, you go out into the world and you look for things that confirm that belief. Rather than hearing, you know, like a, a different narrative or rather than keeping yourself a lot more open-minded and analytical about maybe there's a, a better way to do this or maybe there's a smarter way or, or a different way or maybe my belief is wrong so i feel like there's a little bit of a tunnel vision and a little bit of a confirmation bias coming through where you're single-handedly pushing for something along because you believe it is right and you might be you know in the process of being so directed in it you might not be open to other possibilities. So there is a smart way to do this or there is a hard way. And so they're really asking you to reassess what it is you're trying to achieve and whether or not there is an alternative. There is a better way to do something so that it's not laborious, so that it's not so um, difficult, okay? So a little bit more thinking outside the box, creative thinking, I feel, is going to change this situation okay once again this is somebody who's very confident very secure um with his or her station with his or her capabilities and their ability to lead as well and their ability to see both sides of the story so that when they lead they know how to get people motivated to do whatever is necessary that's for the the greater good of everybody involved and on top of that, coming in towards the end of this month, we have you showing up here as the Knight of Swords in the reverse position. So I feel like you are pushing for something. And then towards the end of the month, there might be a little bit of a snag along the way that can really limit your mobility, that can really limit your the momentum that you're hoping for to push things forward. But the process of slowing down basically means that rather than rushing into a situation and um, I guess like uh, without a strategy, I feel that you're going to be a lot more systematic, a lot more calm and a lot more um, willing to take stock and look, really look at what are my options now? What are some of the things that are no longer working? And what do I do to move things forward now, given, you know, the, the, the new information that came to light or the people that have really backed out? They say they're going to do one thing and then they back out and, and now I'm left with this. So taking stock of what you have and thinking really deeply about the direction that you're trying to go, the place that you're trying to go or the location that you're trying to go to. And then, you know, re revisiting, redoing, redrawing your strategy. So I feel 
towards the end of the month, it might be a little bit challenging because it's um it's kind of forcing you to change direction, okay? There is definitely something that comes in at the beginning where you're very sure. You you feel like I'm going to get a specific outcome and I feel that you get that specific outcome, but in the process then of implementing those goals and those ideas, there might be snags and resistance along the way. There might be people backing out. They promise one thing and then they end up, you know, not delivering or they end up like uh, flicking out the last minute and i feel then it requires you to change your priorities to shift gear into something else or to change your course altogether okay so it's going to be um a busy month there's a lot happening in your life right now and when we are constantly on the go on the move and especially for you as an air sign um it might really distort or hinder your judgment okay so whenever you feel frazzled whenever you feel stuck whenever you feel like um you're you're being met with resistance okay the the smart thing to do i feel for this month is not to doggedly push forward but kind of slow down a little bit and take stock and figure out you know why am i facing the resistance why is this people not on board or are these people not on board and um honestly taking it from a you know don't take things personally but taking it from a more analytical perspective you know rather than saying oh that person never liked me in the first place i feel it might be better if you think of it as maybe they have other obligations and i feel like that's what's happening um it's not personal i feel like other people that might have been on board before circumstances changed for them they might be dealing with some loss some revenue loss some other sponsorship loss for example some other major restructuring in their own life in their own family in their own professional life where whatever they promised they can no longer deliver and i feel like um i feel like the the best thing to do is you know to also understand that people have their their own things that they're dealing with so they might not be backing out because of any personal reason against you because they're very much in alignment with you and they're very much on board but they might have other circumstances that they need to attend to right now and they can no longer you know the situations change okay so being a lot more flexible being a lot more um i feel like the second two weeks the last two weeks of the month slowing down a little bit taking stock and figuring out like possibly changing direction altogether okay 